Are you losing all of your matches? Do you struggle to beat teams many times better than you? Do you want to become exponentially better at driving? Well, game sense is what you lack. Vex Robotics isn't just about building and coding robots and robotics in general. It's about strategy, quick thinking, and outsmarting your opponents. And that's where game sense comes in. But what is game sense and how can we dominate competition? So let's break it down. So what is game sense? Game sense is your ability to understand the game beyond just scoring points. It's about knowing how to react in real time, predicting your opponent's moves, and making smart decisions to maximize on your team's chance of winning. Think of it like the core of Vex Robotics, just like pro athletes don't rely on skill but also strategy. Let's talk tactics. In Vex, it's not just about having the best robot. It's about using it effectively. It's important to block opponents from scoring to disrupt their strategy. When you have a working robot, you have to keep it working with utmost efficiency, planning the fastest and most effective routes to score. But your opponents are going to be doing the same, so you might as well break their plans. It is very important to save game-winning moves like hanging or scoring, descoring last-second points to put off your opponents and make them commit miscalculator errors due to sudden score changes. You could outplay even stronger robots thinking a few steps ahead. One of the most underrated skills in Vex is scouting, and I'll tell you why. In Vex, scouting is really important because picking alliances will be essential and crucial to winning a match. You might have the best alliance in the world. Their robot works great, their driving's incredible. Their autumn is the best in the world. But the thing is, if you don't work well, if you don't work to each other's weaknesses and strengths, you might still lose the match. So you better pick your alliances carefully, even though they might not be the best player out there. If they are to your strength, you better pick them, because then you will have a higher and better chance of winning. Before a match, you should always know how your opponents score points, because if you don't, it's going to be really, really, really hard countering them in fights during the actual match. So you gotta know things like, are they defensive players? Or are they better at offense? Are they good at scoring points, uh, stakes for example, or mobile goals? Can they do alliance stakes? Are they good at end game? These things are really good to know because you'll know what to expect and what to block during the actual match. So you gotta pay attention to their matches, scout players, and make sure you know how to counter them in a real match. Their weaknesses are also really important. Do they struggle on defense? Do they rely on a specific freak routine? If they do, you better disrupt it because if they do, they probably practice that they do this routine. And if they don't, they will do much worse in the actual match. In their previous matches, uh, will give you great insights on how they play. Good scouting means you are prepared before the match even starts. Remember this, you're never alone in a Vex match. You have an alliance partner. Well, unless they decide to be a total jerk and not show up to any of your matches, leaving you a completely hard, insane 2v1 that you will probably lose and get complaining rights about it for the rest of the day. But you know, other than that, knowing your own robot strength and where your teammate is crucial. If you're great at scoring but not defense, let your partner handle blocking opponents. If your robot is really slow but really accurate, focus on precision scoring while your ally blocks. Communicate. A well-coordinated alliance always beats two robots working separately. Really remember that team cohesion we talked in the last chapter. At the end of the day, game sense is really what separates a good team from a championship team. If you master tactics, great scouting, and incredible teamwork, you'll have the edge in every single match. So next time you compete, don't play the game. I'll think it. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment with your best vac strategy. So see you in the next one. But now I'm being completely serious. Please subscribe. I, I, we're a growing channel. Please.